fishing time, guys. I'm uh, I'm pretty stoked. Chelsea just hooked into a fish on the Brazos. Not sure what it is yet. You want to stick around for both days of fishing. On day one, I catch my very first yellow bullhead catfish. On day two, Jimmy catches his very first yellow bullhead catfish. In addition, we're going to catch a plethora of different kinds of bass. We just got to Whitney. Look at this craziness. What happened? The Whitney water tower there in the back. It's like got mega burned down. Bruh. What do you want? Um, food. You smell like fart. You are a fart. <laughs> Hi there, what can I make you for lunch today? Look how pretty that little bird she is. So cute. Hey y'all. You guys. Go. There's like rod. Oh. It's the double Big Mac they got right now. Uh. <laughs> wow. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Look, it's a turkey, we think. Or a butt or a brown. Oh, oh look at him go. Wow, babe, that's not even a turkey at all. Well, good thing we didn't have a gun. We would have shot a buzzard and tried to eat it. All right, bye, turkey buzzard. Now we are set up in a new area right off the Brazos River. We got 110% per skunked over at the state park in our special place, which is actually really unusual and basically never happens. But we had some water come in, it's a little cold. I don't know, man, I don't know what did it. All I know is we are off the Brazos's. Brazos's. Can you talk? We're off the Brazos's. And we're gonna try to catch some fish. That's the goal. And if we don't catch any fish, I will probably never share this footage. So, fingers crossed. Chelsea just hooked into a fish on the Brazos. Not sure what it is yet. What do you got, babe? Looks like a large mouth. Okay, sweet. Yo. Nice. Nice. It's a pretty one. He's oh, been messing God. with this perch we had on the line for like ever now. Forever, dude. Whoop, baby. Well, hold still, baby. Are you serious right now? Thank you. All right. There we go. Pretty fishy. <laughs> dirty, dirty, pretty fishy. All right, I'm gonna get it cleaned up real quick. Okay. <laughs> this one just hit a little perch. So that's what we've got. This is a little cute little large mouth. Yeah, yeah, probably about a two pounder. Probably, yeah, not super big. Maybe two and a half. What do you think measurements wise? It's probably like 14, 15. I think it's 16, it's somewhere in there. Okay. All right. Sweet, good job, babe. Thanks. Probably Jimmy caught this little cute little largemouth bass. So cute. What do you think, baby? You think he's a keeper? Wow. <laughs> we just measured the other one and he was like 15 and a half. This one's probably, this cute little one's probably like what, 10, you think? Maybe not even that. Super teeny, super cute. He'd be a good fish tank bass. He would be a good fish tank bass, but we're gonna put the little dude back. You wanna do a slow mo release? Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. Well, wow, who's a quick up? All right, what'd you get, Jimmy? What is that? Is that a sand bass or a striper? It looks like a baby striper. Yeah, it looks like a baby striper to me too. It's a yeah. cutie, little teeny cutie. Wow. Is this like this super? Oh, the teeth. Count the teeth. That's how you know. Is there one row of teeth or two rows of teeth? You can feel it. Pretty sure it's a baby striper. What's got what? The if it was one row of teeth, it would be a striper. If it's got a few rows, it'd be a sand bass. Well, it's ton I think it's a striper. Okay, baby striper. He's a duty. His eyes look. Ugh, we're so bad with the telling the difference between the two, but I'm pretty sure he's a baby striper. And even if he's not, we're throwing him back, so it doesn't really matter. That's really cool. 
It's super pretty. Super cute, babe. You wanna do the release? Um, yeah. This catfish is crazy looking. I've seen these in fishing uh, different uh, groups or whatever, but he has super tiny eyes and he's super green. Isn't that wild? He's a gnar looking catfish, bruh. I'm gonna have to look up what kind they are. I don't honestly know, but he's way greener. Our usually, our normals are gray and bluish colored. Um, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what kind he is either. He's something. We're gonna look it up right now, but that is crazy looking. Guys, this is the first time that me or Jimmy have caught one of these catfish. So we just looked it up. I've seen them in many pictures from different states, but I don't think they're very common in Texas. This is called a yellow bullhead catfish, okay? He's got the most insane colors. I mean, we always catch blues and grays, which is usually ch uh, blue catfish is the normal that we get. Or is it channel, channel catfish? catfish? Channel catfish. So we always catch channel catfish and tons and tons of them over the year and a half that we've been fishing together. But... This is our first, so he's pretty interesting. I think he's gorgeous. Tell you what, if I had a bigger tank, I would unquestionably keep this guy. And you can tell, look at his sides. He's a fighter, dude. He's got some scarred up here, scars up here. You see that? He's got bloody tail. I mean, this dude's been in some battles. Look at his whiskers. He's pretty crazy looking, dude. Even his underside's a little bloody. Look at his chin. That wasn't even from us. That was from something else. Yeah. He's been messed up. He's not anyway. Right. Cool looking, cool looking fish though. I noticed one of the big differences between him and the channels is his fin up top and his fin on the sides are a little shorter than a, a channel catfish would be at this size. So really interesting guy. All right guys, we need to let him go. Okay, so here's the good news of today. That area we were fishing in the second round where we caught all the fish, um, we've actually never fished it before. We were told about it um, by a different fisherman a few weeks, maybe a week or two ago. So the good news is, we have now scouted a pretty good spot off of the Brazos um, on the opposite side where the water flows pretty well so it's got potential for striper in the future. Um, the other good news is we obviously caught fish. I think we ended up with like a grand total of like four fish for the day. So that's decent um, considering we started the first several hours of the day on Zill. So we'll take it. Um, but yeah, uh, the other thing that happened that was pretty cool today was we've never caught a catfish like that. So that was our first bullhead catfish. So that was pretty cool. Yellow bullhead. Yellow bullhead catfish. So that was pretty interesting. I was it's actually really yellow sure. bullhead. It kind of added to the coolness. The yellow bullhead. It kind of added the coolness that I've been seeing all these photos of those. And I was like, man, that's a cool looking catfish. Like that's probably the coolest catfish I've ever seen. So to actually catch one was pretty legit. So yeah, that's what we got for today. Thank you guys for joining us. If you haven't done it yet, <gasps> subscribe to the channel. Flip flops and shorts are not the ideal thing to wear in a creek area with tons of poison ivy and oak. Yeah, we gotta uh, take some serious soap showers <clears throat> like with dish soap when we get back. This yeah, it was just like a few weeks ago that I got it on my, uh, you know, special spot. Wow. Special place. Dude. <laughs> It was not ideal. I was like wobbling around for like a few days. Okay, thank you for sharing, Jimmy. That was <laughs> very special and intimate that you shared that with us. A special spot sounds even worse though. Let me just say junk. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Yes. Okay. Anyway, this has gone on too long. <laughs>we are in the same spot this is our second visit out here we got here pretty early it's 2 30 right now so we probably won't get bites for a little bit but we just want to make sure we got our setup and our spot good to go in time for biting so you're biting face this is our weird stump we fish off of it's almost killed me a few times but in fairness i'm just kind of a clumsy person so yay these caterpillars are absolutely everywhere and there's like tons of different kinds this one's fuzzy which i think means don't touch it Look at that, they're like everywhere. They keep climbing on us and everything we have. Weird. Check it out. There's a Gar chilling right here. He doesn't give a crap that I'm even here. Gar's like seriously don't give a crap about people. He's chilling right there in the water. Wild. They're like the least afraid fish ever. I wonder if I can catch him on something. This 
is Jimmy trying to catch that gar? Let's see what happens. He's got the bait in his mouth and he's waiting to set the hook. Okay, he's got the bait in his mouth, he's waiting to set the hook. He's just swimming with it right now. I want him to actually swallow, like, swallow it. Okay, so he's currently swimming around with his perch in his mouth. So we're waiting for him to swallow it so he can set the hook. Line. He's taking line? This is crazy. I hope we can set this hook. As soon as he stops taking line. Gosh, I hope I can set the hook. Should I just go for it? Uh, that is your decision. I don't really I don't fish gar. Do. I don't fish gar, I have no idea. I hate gar. It creeped me out. But I hope you get it, because I know you like them. Yeah, dude, I've got them all over my body. It's ridiculous. Right, it. All right, Jimmy's going to try to set the hook. Did you get it? Oh. Did he snap you? I think I snapped on that tree or bush down there. Fuck, too hard. No, I just pulled it out. Yeah, I didn't get him. Dang, you Where's, took it. You took the perch? Darn. Well, you I tried. I have two on this leg. One on my shorts over here. Shoe over here. One on the ground. And another one on the ground. This has gotten a little, a little ridiculous. You know I hate it when you look at me. Don't look at me. Don't. If you look at me again, I'm going to throw the phone at you. Babe. All right, Jimmy, bring it in. All right. Little baby strippers, they're cute. This is a striper, right? It's not a sand bass? Yeah, it's a striper. No, no, no. Gosh. So hard to tell, man. It doesn't really matter. It's not keeper either way, so but we're just gonna. We're just gonna look at the little guy. No, I'm pretty sure it's a striper. The color is not green enough. Or, I don't know. Or he's a hybrid. Maybe. Because remember the the lines are they're solid on stripers, but they're broken. Uh huh. On hybrids. Yeah, he is either a hybrid, a white bass, or a striper for sure. He is not a largemouth. You know that for sure. Oh, he's feisty. Me. He's super feisty. He's too. Honestly, when I was reeling it in, I thought I just snagged up some grass. <laughs> and then right when he got close, he made a dart to the side, and I was like, oh, it's a fish. Hashtag little fish problems. All right, let's do a slow-mo release. All right. I know I have way too much footage of caterpillars, but is this not ridiculous? Here comes another one. What the heck, bro? They're everywhere. Here's another one. You just got a fish on. Go. Feels like a D. It's not, yeah, it's not bending too bad. It's probably smaller, but we will take it. Give me some small little tugs. <laughs> just caught, what is this, number three? Uh, no, I think it's just two. Oh, just two, okay. Little bass number, oh, that's right, because you lost number two. So yeah. this is number three, but a little two, really. A little dinky. So cute, so teeny. Little striper bass. Well, it's kind of good, though. It means they're in the area. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it'd be great to have like Where's one that's decent. At? Where's your grandpappy? We looking for him. Wow. <laughs> He's like <laughs> What you think, T? <laughs> oh, look at that over there. That's what I think. <laughs> Alright, Jimmy's on another fish. Today's Jimmy's day. It's another one of those. <gasps> oh cool, it's another one of the yellow ones. This is Jimmy's first one. Dude, those things look they're always so beat up and gnar. Yeah, I don't know, maybe the channel catfish like hate these catfish or something. Or they're just disgusting. Hard to say. But they are yeah, that's a gnar fish. You think it's 12 inches? Yeah. Oh, dude. Oof. Actually, it almost looks like 
Hold on. Let me get the hook out. It almost looks like his eyes are already dry. Hmm. He's like, looks like he's got like, I don't know, dude. He's just jacked up. He's got battle wounds, bro. <laughs> Yo. Well, this is the first decent fish of the day. So far, we've only caught little teeny tinies. So, we'll take it. And also, like I said, this is Jimmy's first yellow cat. The yellow bullhead catfish. It's yeah. so weird that we've caught two down here. Maybe they, I, I don't know. It's weird because we've, caught, we've fished for catfish so many times out here. Never seen one of these. Never seen anyone catch one of these. Never caught one of these. So, that's pretty wild that we've now caught two in a day in, from each other. That's crazy. <laughs> Hooks so good he can't even unhook it. Unhook it. <laughs> yeah, I got him. Well, I got him right below the eye. Oh there boy. Cool little They're dude. so weird. Look at this. They're super hole. weird. Look how short and fat they're little. Yep. Show the color of it so I can see it. All right, all right. And their heads are so big. Yep. Well, that's why they call them bullheads. Little beady eyes and big old heads. Little tiny little fins. They're interesting. Two in two, two days. That's crazy. Jimmy's on. This is Jimmy's fishing day. It really is. This is his day. What'd you get, babe? We think it's a bass of some sort. We're not sure what yet. All right. Pretty sure it's a large What's that? Pretty sure it's a large one. Oh, yeah? I don't want to lose them. Don't lose them. <laughs> That's a dust statement, but do you need me to net it? Wow, yeah, it looks like a largemouth. Look at you, babe. Wow, holy crap. Holy crap. Don't, babe, seriously, don't lose him. Nice. Wow. He's not real big, but he's decent. He's pretty good size, babe. I mean, no, he's not like, he's big, though. I wonder how much he weighs. Gosh, right when we're about to leave, too, that always seems to happen. Yeah, it totally. Yeah, let me happens. get on this side. So we're that... literally like two seconds from leaving, and he's just casting his little cast master or whatever. Bro, yeah. dude, sick. That's decent. That's a sick fish. Let's weigh him up and figure it out. Yeah, what it is. absolutely. Let's weigh him up. And actually, I want to like, measure him. I always like to know the inches, too. Just curiosity. Good job, babe. Seriously, this has been like the worst fishing day. I've lost like a thousand lures, maybe a thousand and two. Right in there. <laughs> but Jimmy's Jimmy's caught quite a few. Okay, and just so awesome. you know guys, we have crap everywhere, but we're gonna clean every bit of it. Up. Okay, big big pet peeve of ours is people leaving trash everywhere. We never ever, and I mean never, leave trash anywhere. It's super rude and other people fish here too, and plus fish live here. Which is why we're all out here, so don't leave their area dirty. It's messed up. It's not cool. Alright, babe, what are we looking at? Okay. Let's see. Just hair under four pounds. Hair under four pounds. It looks almost longer than that big one I caught the other day, but like not quite as fat. Yeah. Good job. Seriously, that's a hoss fish. Measure, nope. measure the length. All right. Yeah, he's just a hair under four. Literally, we're like two seconds from leaving, and he's just casting cast master. Dang, that's awesome. You see our can of kern? Candy cane, trying Always to trying to get them kerpies. Okay. What's he at? He is 18. 18? That's Maybe what's Maybe a up. little over 18. I think that's longer than that last big, big, the, my PB I caught a little while back. Now, of course, Jimmy's been fishing his whole life, so his fishing record is much better than mine, which has only been the last year and a half. That's a really nice bass. Yes. It's pretty chunky. Here the hold on I'm getting shadow. Turn uh let me get over here. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah bass. Yeah. That is gorgeous. Good job, babe. It was a pretty fun fight. Yeah, it looked like it. And that concludes day two out at Whitney on the Brazos. So I am super beat from all this casting of lures and of what was the other thing? Cast masters. Exhausting. We're done. Thanks for watching guys. So this is kind of interesting, but after, um, so after we caught that, uh, catfish the other day, yesterday, um, 
we started talking to the locals to figure out because like literally never seen a yellow bullhead catfish at all so when we got home last night i thought to myself i was like let's check to see what the lake record of lake whitney is for the yellow bullhead catfish and literally there is no record of any bullhead catfish yellow bullheads on whitney which is very odd so talking to people today uh, we talked to a guy that was a regular fisherman off the brazos and he said he's literally never seen he's seen them before but never out there ever on the brazos or lake whitney so it's just really interesting it's almost like somehow that uh species got introduced to lake i'm guessing recently it's just very odd um but yeah so i mean it's pretty cool that we caught two the last two days that's that's pretty cool it was an exciting thing to catch i know they're not super uncommon um but yeah they're not in the areas that we fish so pretty cool we were pretty stoked about that so heading back now